Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. And today we're going to take a look at the mid-season uh, of the current season that we're playing. It's now 2024 in the game. And um, so the, we started uh, last episode, um, I guess, sort of October time, I think. Um, and we had a look at, you know, the, the squad and um, having a look at the fact that we had quite a lot of young players and stuff. So there weren't a lot of changes in the January transfer window, but a few of them were necessary. For example, oh, actually, wh while I'm in the screen, I just want to show you how well our youth team's doing. Um, you can see like they're not far away from first, so they're only, they're only four points away. So hopefully, you've got high hopes that they will do well this season. Uh, anyway, let me show you the transfers that we did. For this, I'll bring up the squad. So one of the transfers that we were forced to do, as you can see on the left hand side, Kami Binny, our main goalkeeper, his loan ended and he wasn't willing to renew it. Uh, well, I guess the club wasn't willing to, to renew it. They were, they were willing to sell him to us, but he didn't want to sign. So we got David Wood instead. He's not a great keeper on, in, on paper, but he's doing really well for us. He's only 18 years old. Uh, he's only on loan, but who knows? Maybe if his contract ends, then we can sign him. So that's one, one of the changes that we did. It was a forced change. Um, another forced change that we did uh, was in the midfield. Martin Donnelly, one of our center midfielders, retired uh, in the winter. So we had to go ahead and get Cameron Berry for his position again young player not amazing but he's not doing too bad for us he's actually doing quite well so that's another forced change um one more forced change uh edward jones one of our uh defenders he was he wasn't yet a, a very good player but he had a potential to be a very good player for us so he wasn't playing an awful lot we had cam condola playing for us uh, regularly in that position so he decided to leave all of a sudden like literally like just cancelled his contract and left so we went ahead and got a replacement harrison M muzuamba uh, english player 20, 21 years old still developing uh, we haven't played an, enough, an awful lot yet, so I'm um, just going to give him some time to develop in mentoring and training and all that. So that was our third and final forced change. Then we made three more changes to the squad, uh, starting with um, Callum Woods. We brought him in just because our right side of the defence needed a bit of a kick. Um, Mark Morrison was 25 years old and he was starting to decline. It's a bit early to decline, but these things happen with um, non-professional clubs. So we got Callum Woods. He's a veteran, but he's quite solid. So, um, you know, I'm not too worried about him declining or anything because he's just like a veteran player. So he's going to give us a bit of stability on that side. And we still have Marcel Oakley, who's a very good player for us in that position. So basically it's kind of consolidating that side of the fence. And we've got two brand new center def central defenders on the defense role. Uh, we decided to drop uh, Angel Coulter to the under 18s. He wasn't quite ready for first team, so he wasn't playing an awful lot. We were playing Jack B Baton instead. Um, but we decided to release Jack and we got St uh, Steven. Dave Stevens, uh, again, uh, on loan. He was with us on loan last season. He's back with us again this season. He's a really good player for this level of league. Uh, he's retiring in the summer anyway, so it's going to be the last time he's with us in the game. And we also got uh, Charlie Oliver. I think he's been with us before. If not... Um, no, not this time. So last, time, so last season of FM, FM 21... We, we used them, I think. We, we used Charlie Oliver. So he's with us again on loan. And so, because the, the, both of these players are on loan, it means we'll have brand new sets of uh, central defenders next season. So that's how it is at the moment. We can see at the top that we are in eighth 
at the moment. We've been up and down between 7th and 8th for a bit. So we still don't have a secure playoff place, but we are not too far from, from being able to do that this season. Uh, as far as the team goes, they're doing quite well, gelling quite well. We still don't have any highly influential, influential players, so I'm hoping a couple of these guys will jump up at some point. But because we have quite a young squad overall, I don't know what the average age is, actually. It's 26, so still 26, but we do have within our squad um, a lot of young players that we can... Um, work on for next season. So Marcel is leaving us. He's going to water Waterford. Not even sure who Waterford are. Irish club. Okay, so the, he's going to the Irish league. Um, Cam should still be with us. Harrison should still be with us. He's on loan, um, but he might come back next year. He ten tends to come. He was with us last season as well on loan. Uh, that leaf um, will definitely be with us next season, and George Abbott is definitely going to be with us next season as well. David Wood, again, it just depends on what his contract is like at the moment with his current club in Sweden. So we'll see. But yeah, we have quite a few young players, but we do have a few very old players as well, which will all be replaced, obviously. And next season, you know, these three got um, Dolan's retiring as well, so that that's going to be the last of him. Callum Woods will probably retire, I guess, in the summer. Even though he hasn't decided to do that yet. He's on loan anyway. Uh, I think he will stay. He's he's still young for, for a goalkeeper. Go goalkeepers tend to go on for a bit longer. Right. So let's jump into a match. Lately, we have been playing... Uh, with... Let's put that on to positive. So positive mentality, usually... Uh, we've got quite a few connections going on at the moment. We don't we don't really play a tiki taka anymore. Um, it's sort of a weird mix. So we are still playing out of this fence through the flanks, um, but we are currently sh shooting on sight. We've been working the ball into the box in the past, but at the moment we're shooting on sight. I've dropped the directness to short, so not very not very direct. We're still playing a high tempo, still playing four set pieces and still running at the fence, trying to get those fouls in. Uh, attacking quite narrow. No changes here. Yeah. And, and that's how we defend. So yeah, a bit of a mix there. I'm not sure if I've done... It looks like I've done this. Oops. Let me just check through the team. So we're going to play with David Wood, the new goalkeeper. Callum Woods, the new right defender. Charlie Oliver and Cam Condola, Joe Brown. That looks right to me. Uh, yeah, that, okay. That all looks right to me. Let's jump into the match. So we're playing Spartans. They are currently... I want to say they are 18th, but I might be wrong. They might be 15th. I can't remember. But we are 8th. Um, so yeah, we've been doing okay. We had a, f a few spells here and there that we didn't do so well. We This time around we went to... I think we got as far as the fourth, qual fourth qualifying round for the FA. And we got as far as the second round for the FA Trophy. So we got quite a um, good money from gate receipts as well. We are in the process of buying our stadium. So that will be good. Uh, we can do more with gate receipts and also like just promoting the club, I suppose. We might be able to apply for a new stadium sponsorship as well. Will be good. Oh, that's. I thought there was a shot. I was going to say that's a very bad shot, but apparently it was a cross or a pass. Is it a cross if it crosses outside the area? I don't think it is, is it? But 
I like the way that the games and the the match engine is uh, introducing some new wacky plays that didn't really exist in last year's edition. Okay, half time. Oh, nil nil. Uh, I might put Jane me in. That's it. Um. So that's a sub that we sometimes do, putting Hughes in attack in, in um striker position and bring in Pringle I wonder what kind of Pringle he is if he's a sour cream Pringle if he's a I don't know what other flavors are there sour cream is my favorite if you have a favorite Pringle flavor not sponsored by the way uh, if you have a favorite Pringle flavor put it in the comments love to know about it my favorite is sour cream just so you know we are losing here. What? Well, let's watch this. So, we had... Uh... Okay, fair enough. Pretty bad defending, but... Pretty standard crossing, I think. Um... Time for our last sub. And let's get Oakley back in. Whoops, sorry. I don't know why I keep saying that. There we go. Oh, it'll be pretty upsetting if we get a loss here. We haven't had a loss in a little while. comes another. Wood holds on to this one. I'm just going to move the mic here because I'm having to look over the mic to see. To see the game stats. <laughs> that guy's good on the um, on the right. Okay, so we dropped down to 10th. Let's see if we can play another match real quick and turn that around a little bit. Uh, he's been injured. So I presume he's out of the next match. Buxton, okay, we only have two days, so that means we're probably gonna have to do quite a, f quite a bit of rotation. Oh no, he wants to leave. We might be losing Doyle. He might decide it. I'm not sure if he's on a contract. Yeah, he's not on a contract. Okay, guys. Small detour. Let's see if we can look for a new left mm. white target man. Um, that might not be a lot available. There's nothing available. Oh my goodness. This is terrible. Um, I have someone in the club. Oh, don't mean to do that. No one at the club. I mean, I suppose I could just get, get a kid and then keep him on. Uh, get this guy on loan, maybe? Just a filler, I suppose. Uh, no. I'm not available for loan. Maybe this guy. No way. And we're gonna try and offer him nothing. They never accept it, but that means sometimes they lower what they ask for. Okay, we're gonna get Joel Tabiner, maybe. He's a terrible player, but we just need to kind of fill that gap. It's late February, so there's not much we can do.
it's a shame that Doi left. Especially now that Dan we're gonna we were going to play him. I mean, if it was just waited a little bit, we were gonna play him. Okay, we're gonna have adequate academy coaching. That's great. As you can see, I've been asking the board for some stuff. And I'm gonna continue asking the board for some stuff. I basically just ask them for everything. A minus, doing well. So I've been um, thinking about maybe doing a test Twitch stream for the off season. So just kind of doing, because like doing a video for YouTube of the arts off season would require a lot of editing because there's a lot of time just spent space barring and quietly looking at players or something so it's not very interactive or whatever but so I've been thinking maybe could do like it, it would work as a twitch but I'm not sure how the network that I have would be suitable so it's going to be a test just to see how suitable the network is right so ta -da. Let's just check the team, make sure we've got all the right players in the right places. We're gonna have to give this guy a rest. And this guy a rest. And this guy a rest. Oh no, wrong player, sorry. Barton. And tut for this one. You can probably stay. You can stay. I'm gonna have to find someone else for Dan. I'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, so now from all of our pool of players, who would be the better suited? Pringle? I'll talk about Toby Joe as well. I'll put Pringle. And then maybe Toby Joe can be if required, can be on the bench. Let's just see who else. Central defender, defender left and right. We're going to need someone to cover. Midfield. Left and right. Okay. Um. Hmm. It doesn't quite work because we don't have a striker. On the bench. But then mm, we might not need one. We've got Casher and we've got Hughes that can do the striker position, so we might not need one. Um, but just out of curiosity, let's see if we can find a player that can do. Um, some of those things. I'll risk it. We don't we don't need a striker. I'll risk it. Right. Okay, let's go ahead with match so you see these guys don't have quite you know as good as relationship as the, the usual first team players do and it's been a season full of these um weeks where we have two games in the same week all right we have a free kick here against us well defended by wood i'm not sure if it was defended or if he was the post but anyway didn't go in that's what matters 
We have one our own way. Uh, use just misses it. I thought it would be a corner, but obviously it went completely wide of the keeper. See, the one thing that David Wood isn't as good at as Beanie was is one-to-ones. Yeah, that's one of his gaps in his skill set. We're trying to develop that at the moment. We'll have a look to see what progress he's been able to make in this month that he's been with us. Sorry that happened again. <laughs> Keeps minimizing the thing. Um, right, so time to... I suppose he can play that position, I guess. Come on, dude, you need to perform. do that. Um, no, actually I have to do that. Okay. Yeah, our striker, Lasato Osofo, or I can't remember what his name, I think it's Osofo, the striker, um, he is not, he's doing quite well overall in the season, but the last few weeks he has not been great. We had to get this guy out. He's got a yellow, we can't risk him being sent off. Got an another free kick. Oh, no, okay. Oh, that was a really wrong header from Woods. Completely giving the ball away to the opposition. Corner kick for them. Okay, we've got... Oh. I hate it when like, we, it seems like we have a chance and the highlight cuts off. Looks like it might be a nil-nil. There we go, not a very exciting game, I'm afraid. So yeah, finally, just let's just have a look at David Wood. So I was saying he has one-on-ones is a big failure gap in his skill set, and it's not improving just yet. Seems like a few things are declining, which doesn't make a lot of sense because he's been playing for us, you know, pretty much regularly. Right, so let's have a look at the schedule. Going back, we had a pretty good start of the season. We had a bit of a hiccup once we left the FA Cup. Um, and then again, a bit of a hit and miss since we've dropped out of the FA Trophy. Probably just a motivational thing. And then in recent weeks again, uh, we had a bit of a hiccup. Uh, actually, it was just last, I guess, Blinth. Spartans. Okay, so yes, but I don't think Sapa Osong, I called him Osofo earlier, Osong, he hasn't been scoring lately. He scored there. But yeah, like these matches here. 6.5, 6.4 against Boston. Then the, ma the first match we played this episode is 6.4. And today, 6.5. So yeah, like the two weeks previous to this episode, then he's he's been kind of... Something's happened to him, I don't know. I don't know what's up with him, but... Um, apparently he's got a high risk of injury as well at the moment. But yeah, we will catch up round about... Well, round about the end, really. Uh, against Southport, maybe. We'll come back for that. And um, I... 
presume we will be able to still be in the playoff zone, but we'll see how the next few weeks go in the game. Um, but yeah, it'll be nice if when we come back in the next episode, um, we are in the playoff zone and we're going to dispute that. So yeah, I'll see. If, uh, if it looks like we might make the playoffs, I might come back just for the playoffs. Um, and do like a playoff episode. If it looks like we might not make the playoffs, then I'll just play the last couple of matches of this season uh, and just go from there, see where, where that goes. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching this one. Have a Merry Christmas. Actually, this will be released after Christmas, so I hope you had a good Christmas and definitely um, enjoy your New Year's Eve. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.